Today we're going to be looking at how to use multiple cameras and microphones all at once from one computer in OBS Studio. So if you want to have more than one camera angle on your stream, or if you want a different camera and microphone for a guest, for example, or maybe you're doing a podcast, I'm going to show you how to get this set up with no plugins, no extra software, just your cameras, your microphones, and the OBS program itself. And if you watch through to the end of the video, there's actually a free gift there for you too, to use in your own OBS Studio, so stick around. If you're new around here, I'm Cal, I make videos across a few different channels, but mostly this one, so subscribe if you want to see more helpful videos like this. Okay, so let's assume you're starting from a blank OBS like this. There's a couple of ways to do this at the beginning. Let's start with all of them on one screen because that's the quicker way. So first, you're gonna to wanna to click the plus button down at the bottom left in scenes. This creates a new scene for you and you can name that whatever you like. So for example, I'll call mine multicam setup. Now you have this, shoot across to sources, which is right next to scenes on the right. And then you wanna add your first camera. So to do this, you click the plus button at the bottom like you did in scenes, but definitely make sure you're doing it in sources this time. Click on video capture device and name this something memorable as well, maybe like camera one, for example. Then you'll have a dropdown of all of the plugged in cameras from your device that are eligible to use in OBS. So you wanna click whichever device you want as your camera one, for example. Once you click that, you should have the first camera pop up like so. You can then click on this, move it around in the preview box above, adjust the size from the edges and stuff like that. You can also hold down your alt key and drag your webcam in to resize it all together if you like to. But once you have this where you want it, it's time to essentially follow this process again, but this time selecting your second camera from the drop down box. And again, resize this, position it wherever you like it on the screen. And after that, you guessed it, you can do this again for a third camera and basically as many cameras as you want to, providing you've got enough USB ports to plug them in. You can actually use your phone as a webcam as well, which is a super handy way to get a high quality camera because most modern phones have great cameras on them built in. If you want to learn how to use your phone as a camera, I've got a quick little video here for you with multiple methods that are pretty easy and very quick to follow. So go ahead and follow that through. Now, strictly speaking, you could switch between cameras on this one screen by simply clicking the little eyeball logo next to them in your sources down here. And this will hide or show whichever cameras you'd prefer to be on screen at any given point. But obviously that involves a lot of clicking, a lot of effort. It's a bit clunky and it doesn't look as seamless. You can get around this a little bit by going to your OBS settings and then go to hotkeys and then you can set up a hotkey specifically to show or hide your camera. Setting up hotkeys here is something I'd recommend in general. It works really well and it's almost similar to how a stream deck would work without having to buy one. It's handy for things like switching cameras, like muting and unmuting your mic and basically anything you can see in this big list of hotkey options. But if you want a smooth way to flick between your camera angles, there is another method to follow that you can have a multicam set up with, which I'll go through now. So for this method, instead of one scene, we're going to create as many scenes as you want, depending on how many cameras you have planned. So like we did at the beginning with the original scene, just make a couple of those depending on how many cameras you want and then you'll have a camera basically on each of these scenes. Once you've got the scenes made you simply go into each scene and add one source like we did before with a video capture device but just do one camera per scene and from there you'll see that you can click through the scenes and it's a bit more of a seamless switch between camera angles than just simply clicking on the eyeball logo and hiding them on the one screen option. You can also add transitions and stingers this way which makes it a lot more professional looking. You don't even have to start from scratch like I just did in OBS either. If you already have an existing stream set up let me show you how to duplicate that to make a multicam setup without having to do all of it again across multiple scenes. Essentially, once you've got your first main camera on your main scene, let's say, you can then just right click the scene on the left, click to duplicate it, which will entirely duplicate every single source in that scene, including your game, any artwork, and any sound effects that you have popping up, etc. Simply rename that scene camera two, remove the video camera from that source, and add a new one with the second camera angle. And once again, you can switch between these by clicking between scenes or setting up a hotkey, which I really do recommend because then you don't have to click anything. You don't have to tab out. You can just hotkey even amidst a game. This really is as customizable as you want it to be. You can do as many cameras as you like and do it on the scenes, on one screen. You can do hotkeys. You can make it seamless with transitions. It depends how much effort you want to put in, I suppose, and the vibe that you want to go for. Really quick, if you found this helpful so far, please go ahead, leave a like on the video. You can click it down there. So let's move on to microphones. Let's say you want to have more than one microphone input on your stream. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your OBS settings, then go to audio on the left-hand side, and you'll see in there a big list of all your mic and auxiliary inputs and this is where you're going to choose the devices from your drop downs. For example, I'll go ahead and set up three different microphones here by clicking all three mics that I have plugged in separately on one of each of the drop downs. Once you've done that, just a quick tip if you're also planning on recording your audio and having like a podcast video or having a video for your stream, it can also be helpful to go to the output settings here, change it from simple to advanced at the top and then it will give you a few different options and under the option that says recording, you can click on these check boxes here for however many mics that you have plugged in and this will record your audio on separate audio tracks for you. 
This means that when you're editing, you can remove any overlaps, any background noise, any doubled up audio from both of the mics, and you don't need a mixer or any extra software for this. It just does it for you, which is super handy. And then once you've done everything here in settings, you can come back out of the settings and you'll see your microphone mixes at the bottom here. You can change the name and add any filters you'd like by clicking on the three dots if you want to, as well as changing the audio levels with the slider, of course. And then as you can see with this quick demo, you'll have all different mics set up and ready to go, all recording on separate tracks too, if you want them to be. And there we have it. Now, you stay to the end for a free gift and you will get it. But I want to quickly mention that I have a Discord down below. If you want to go join that, it's full of other like-minded creators and streamers like yourself. So if you want to come and chat with me or join a community of other people just like you, the link is down there for you. And something else new, you can now join this channel as a member and it starts from as little as 99p. You can also do super chats and super thanks in the comments now. Apparently that's a thing these days. Now as for your free gift, you've got past all my ramblings, it's here. All of the overlays you saw me using at the beginning of this video in OBS were made by me and I've actually added them to my website for you. It's completely for free. There there is no signups, there's no newsletter, there's no spam, there's just a free bit of artwork for you to help you on your stream. And on top of that, the first 50 people to follow me on Instagram and send me a DM with just the alien emoji, nothing else, just the alien emoji, will get this pack for free as well. I hope you found this helpful and there's another video right here for you. So if you want to see 50 ideas of how to improve your stream in five minutes and set yourself apart from all of the other streamers on Twitch, go check it out. I wish you the best with your streaming, your videos and anything creative you're doing this week. And I'll see you next week with another video of my own. Mwah.